So we're first going to check your prescription. Let's get you set up. Now that we've got you set up, let's see the lowest line you can read. Can you see those? Good, how about here? How can very small, how about here? Teeny tiny ones. This is bonus round. Okay, let's go back up here. I'm gonna make these letters a little blurry. Can you see any of those? Nope, nice and blurry. Good. Let me know when you can just barely make out one or two of those letters. This is just relaxing your eyes. Maybe you can see one or two of them. Okay, let me know which is better. Here's one or two, three or four, five or six. And if they look about the same, that's fine to say too. Okay. So I'm going to make them a little bit bigger still. Add another lens here. We're going to be playing with your astigmatism now. And astigmatism just has to do with the curvature of the front surface of the eye. So it's not perfectly spherical in all directions. One direction is a little bit steeper. One direction is a little bit flatter. Some doctors liken this to a basketball, which would be an eye without astigmatism, versus a football, which is an eye with astigmatism. They have two different curves in different directions. So with that more astigmatic eye or football-shaped eye, you have to have two different prescriptions in each direction. So we're kind of fine-tuning that second prescription here. So I'm going to show you two options. They both might not be super great. Just let me know which one's better. Here's one. Or two. And again, you can say equal. Three. Or four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, okay. here's nine, or ten, one, or two, Three, or four, five, or six, seven, or eight. times. Can you read those letters there? How about here? And how about here? Anything there? And if you get them wrong, that's okay. Here, these are getting tiny. Good. Anything here? Oh, 
last one and then I'll be done torturing it. Can you see any of those? Great job. Okay, go ahead and close your eyes here. And we'll do your other eye. Good. Okay, blink, blink, blink. We're going to make the letters a bit bigger again. Can you see those? How about here? Anything here? How about there? Getting a little bit harder here. Okay. Let's go back up to this line. And again, I'm going to make it blurry just to relax your eye. And can you read any of those? Okay. Let me know if you can make out one or two of them. Let me know which is more clear. Here's one or two, three or four, five or six. Great. I'll pop a couple lines here, add that lens again. And let me know which one's better. Again, they might not be super great. Just let me know which one's better out of the two options. Here's one. Or two. Three. Or four. Five. Ooh, let's redo that one. That wasn't a very good flip. Five. Or six. Seven. Or eight. Good. How about nine? Or ten? One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. How about nine or ten? One or two. Good. Blink, blink, blink. What do you see here? How about here? is there. Wonderful. All right, go ahead and sit back. Just look straight ahead, pass me towards the wall behind me. I'm just going to take a look at your pupils here. Good. I know it's really bright here. Almost done. Good. Okay, I want you to look at my finger with your eyes only. Don't move your head and just follow my finger. This is checking your eye muscles, making sure your eyes can move in all gazes without restriction. I'm also watching how smooth your eyes move. If we move the target really slow, you'll have what's called smooth pursuits, which your eyes follow like this. If I move the target too fast, 
your eyes will start to do saccades where they jump to keep up with the moving target. Okay, then I'm gonna have you cover one eye. Looking right here, tell me when you can start to see my fingers wiggle. Good. Again. Good. Try not to pay attention to that shadow. I'm covering that eye. Good. Great. Switch eyes here. Just looking right at my eye. Tell me when you see my fingers wiggling. Good. Great. Good. Now we're going to check your eye pressure. This is called an eye care. Looks scary, super not scary. Checks your eye pressure. Comes super close to your eye, just keep looking straight ahead. You're gonna check your blood pressure real quick. Now you need to keep your feet on the floor, uncross your legs, don't talk while we do this because that will elevate your blood pressure and you're going to hold your arm just like that. under the microscope. You're tall enough that I just actually get to stand up. I love when that happens. Okay. I'm gonna have you start by looking just straight ahead towards my ear. And then looking towards my other ear or where you think it is. Then now I'm gonna put some drops in your eyes so that I can take a look at the drainage system inside your eyes. So I'm gonna leave you back here. towards the ceiling. Let's lean you back up. And then I'm going to be using, it's kind of like a little contact lens. You won't feel anything on your eye because now you're nice and numb, but you might feel a little tickle on your lids and lashes. Is that height still okay? Okay. So you're just gonna look straight ahead. Try to open it as wide as you can.
jump. I know it feels kind of weird. We're gonna do the same thing for your other eye here. Great job. And then I'm gonna take a look at the back of your eyes with a different lens. This one won't touch your eye though. Good. Same thing for your other eye. So your eyes look super healthy, your prescription's nice and stable, sounds like you're interested in LASIK. LASIK's not for everyone, but for the right people, it can be life-changing. So we're gonna bring you back for some other testing, we'll do some imaging of your eyes to make sure your cornea is thick enough to withstand the LASIK treatment, and then we'll talk more about if it's right for you, okay? Alright, have a great rest of your day. My scribe's just gonna finish up and then she'll walk you up to get scheduled, okay?